Hello, here's another video about solving equations with exponents in them. So first, let's look at this example. We're going to see there's two methods to approach these. Uh, I prefer the uh, graphing way. But I'll show you both of them. And I'll show you the algebraic way kind of quickly here. So the trick is with something like this, when you have uh, 4 to a power and 16 to a power and the variable is in the exponent, you want to write them to you want to write them as exponential expressions with the same base. And right now they have different bases. The base on the left is 4, the base on the right is 16, but you could write 16 as 4 to the power 2. So that would look like 4 to the power x minus 2 on the left still is the same. And then instead of 16, write that as 4 to the power 2. That way, both of them are exponential expressions with the same base. But if we then simplify this so it's just written as 4 to the power 6, then we can see that if you have 4 to the, to the x minus 2 power and 4 to the power 6, and the base is both 4, then that means that x minus 2 must be equal to 6 for this equation to work. Then when you add 2 to both sides, you just get x equals 8. So uh, that is question A. You get x equals 8. You can check it if you do 4 to the power 8 minus 2 is going to be 4 to the power 6, and then we're going to get 16 to the power 3. If you take your calculator here and you do 16 to the power 3 and 4 to the power 6, check that you get the same thing and you do. All right, let's try B now. So this one is the same idea, except now we're going to try to write them with the same base. And this time that is going to need to be 3, because it looks like these are all powers of 3. So I'm going to start with the 27 and rewrite that as 3 to the power 3. And then you also have that 3 to the power negative 2x there. And that is the same as 9 to the power x plus 1. Well, how about I rewrite that 9 as 3 to the power 2. And that way, if all of the bases are 3, you can combine them all and you'll get, let's see, 3 to the power 3 minus 2x when you add those exponents. should be equal to 3 to the power 2 times x plus 1 when you add those exponents. And then because the bases are both 3 and the result is the same, that means the, the exponents must be the same exponent to get those results equal. So that means 3 minus 2x is equal to 2 times x plus 1. And we could distribute the 2 into there, and you get 3 minus 2x is 2x plus 2. Then when you add 2x to both sides, that will give you 4x on the left, on the right, and no x's on the left. And then we've got that equal to 1 is the 3 minus 2. When we divide both sides by 4, you'll get 1 over 4 equals x. So to solve this by graphing, we're going to graph y equals 4 to the power x minus 2, and also y equals 16 to the power 3. like so, and also the other graph is going to be 16 to the power 3, and we want to see what value of x you can plug in makes the y coordinates the same, which is going to look like on the graph a point where they intersect. So if your graph is the standard window, it's just going to look like this. I have x going from x min is negative 10, x max is 10, 
y max is 10 and y min is negative 10. And that's not going to show the solution because the other graph, if I hit trace and go up to the other one, 16, y equals 16 to the power 3 is a really, really big y coordinate. Um, what is 16 to the power 3? We just saw it with the last one. Uh, it is 4096. So if you want to see that y coordinate on your graph, we're going to need to change the window. So I'm going to go to window, the y max, how high up it goes, needs to be bigger than 4096. So let's say 5000. And then look at the graph. And now you can see where they intersect right here, approximately. Uh, to figure, and you could try to trace over there. Uh, tracing, though, a lot of the time doesn't work very well because you're plugging in these weird x coordinates. And as you can see here, we can't get exactly to the right spot because of the way the resolution is. So uh, you do second calc intersect, like so. And it asks for the first curve and the second curve. Always just press enter twice as long as you only have two uh, equations graphed. So I only have two, so I can just hit enter twice. Just move the cursor near the intersection for the guess and hit enter. And that is the intersection point there at x equals 8. So that is how you can get the first one by graphing. You just get x equals 8 from the graph. And then for the other one, uh, let's see. We want to graph both of these. So I'm going to go back to the y equals. We want to graph 27 times 3 to the power negative 2x, like so. And then the other one is going to be 9 to the power x plus 1. And I need to remind you that if you're using a TI-83, um, it might look different here. You'll have to write it with parentheses around this to make sure that it has the order of operations right. If it's not actually rendering it like in the exponent, you want to make sure that it knows that the exponent is one whole thing and that it doesn't do 9 to the power x and then add 1. So, um, yeah, you might need parentheses around exponents with a TI-83. So then we can try to graph that. And here the problem is with this window, we can barely see where it is. Uh, it looks like the Y coordinates aren't actually that big where they intersect. So maybe we can go back to a normal window. So maybe hit zoom and press number 6 for Z standard. Okay, actually it looks like they're above there somewhere. So I'm going to... So I'm just doing some trial and error here, and that's what it takes sometimes. It's usually faster than doing it on paper, and it almost always works. Okay, that looks like we can kind of see that they probably intersect in there somewhere. Um, so let's do the second calc. I'm going to do number 5 intersect. And... Uh, it asks for the first curve. I only have two curves graphs, so I can just press enter. Second curve, enter. Guess kind of near where you think it is and press enter. And that's the point there. All right, here is an exercise for you to try. Solve the equation 2 to the power x plus 2 equals 128. You can do it either way, the algebraic way, the first way I did it, if you prefer. Uh, but I also recommend getting practice doing stuff by graphing because you can solve any kind of equation by graphing. So that's a really important thing to practice. So let's pause it here. And there's a solution, x equals 5, however you got it. Here's how I'll check. Uh, if you do 2 to the power 5 plus 2, do you get 128? If you plug it into your calculator, uh, 2 to the power 7 is 128. So, yes. Um, 
So whether you got that by graphing or doing it algebraically, either way is fine. You might want to practice both. It doesn't hurt. Sometimes you'll uh, catch your answers, catch wrong answers that way. All right. See you later.